Hello everyone! How are you? We are now at the last part of the quarter and I'm going to ask you, do you feel confident now in presenting the speech? Or are you still scared in presenting and speaking up for yourself? Or maybe you are now satisfied with your vocal quality? Well, in this lesson, we are going to improve your vocal quality and implement conventions that will help us to avoid being monotonous. Dialogues, challenges, and talk testers will be coming right up after this clip. Do you wish to avoid situations wherein people get bored in your presentations? Or maybe in your series of presentations, you want to leave a jaw-dropping speech. Now, one key to do that is to improve your voice. This is why, at the end of the lesson, we are going to attain the following objectives. 1. Determine the physical and vocal aspects of speech delivery. Number two, apply the rules and conventions in delivering a self-written COVID announcement or information. Number three, demonstrate resilience in coping with the difficulties brought during the COVID time. And number four, the last one, is to value hard work and perseverance in attaining goals. Now, for your activity, we're going to start this challenge. There is this challenge that has been making grounds in the social media and it is called the Flight Attendant Challenge. Now I think it is a perfect exercise for you to come up with how are you going to pronounce, how are you going to give emphasis to certain words in the challenge. So I'm going to start first. So for now, get your phone ready and watch me to do it first. For your activity, we are going to have the Flight Attendant Challenge. For this activity, I want you to use your voice and techniques to achieve the Flight Attendant-like reading of announcements. I'm going to read first, and then after that, I will be giving you enough time to do it for yourself. The script is posted in this screen so that you can read along with me. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just landed at the Rinoya Kino International Airport. Cebu Pacific Air welcomes you to Manila. On behalf of your flight deck crew, headed by Captain Padilio with First Officer Pimentel and the rest of the team, we thank you for choosing Cebu Pacific, your airline of choice. Now, it's your turn! Now that you're done with your flight attendant challenge, I'm going to ask you several questions. Now, the first thing is, how was your performance in the flight attendant challenge? Did you perform well? Is your voice well modulated? And then the last one would be, if you're going to change a thing or some things in your performance, what would it be? I'm going to post the questions in this side and I'm going to give you enough time to reflect and to assess your performance. So, see you later! If you are going to observe famous broadcasters and of course Toastmasters, you are going to remember their delivery. Delivery in a speech is very important. Now, what is delivery? Delivery is the actual presentation of the speech itself. It has two elements, which are the vocal and physical elements. The vocal elements include the following. First is voice, 
pitch, volume, rate, pauses, and of course, emphasis. Now, for the physical elements, we have the physical appearance, the eye contact, the facial expression, posture, and of course, gesture and proxemics. Later, we are going to discuss the different elements so that you will know when and how can you apply this in your actual speech. One of the vocal elements in speech delivery is the volume. The volume refers to the loudness of our voice when we speak. The louder your voice, the higher the volume. Now, it is best to adjust our volume when we speak because people or your audiences might find it annoying if you're too loud and they might get mad or your, your speech or message will not be delivered if your voice is too soft. Now, one thing is to adjust accordingly your volume depending on the situation and the media you are using. The next vocal element is pitch. Pitch refers to the lowness and the highness of the speaker voice when he or she speaks. Ha, ha. Now, varying the pitches will emphasize certain moods and messages in your speech. The next vocal element is the rate. Now, the rate refers to the pace of the utterance. The faster you go and the slower you go will definitely create an emphasis on certain things. Um, for example, if you are nagging, of course the nag would be specifically a little bit faster. So for example, I hate you, I don't want you, get out of here, stay away from me. So it's a little bit faster. But if you want to emphasize a certain emotion, you can, you can make it slower. You, the pace can be slowed down. Mm. For example, um, I love you. I want you to stay. Please be with me. So see, there is a certain change in the mood and of course with the emphasis of the message. The fourth vocal element is the pause. Now, pauses are brief silences in your speech. Now, in the pauses, it creates an emotion. Of course, it builds up something. It, before you, you arrive at something, it builds up. The pause creates the intensity. So for example, you're narrating a story. Let's have this story. Once upon a time, there lived a princess. A very, very pretty princess. So see, it creates tension and intensity. Ma. Ma, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ma. Doon nagkaroon kasi ng crisis sa Spain. Isa ako doon sa mga teachers na natanggalan ng trabaho kasi sabi nila hindi naman daw ako talaga magaling. The fifth vocal element is pronunciation. Pronunciation refers to how sounds are produced correctly according to the accepted standards of a language. Now, to practice pronunciation, I'm going to provide you a series of tongue twisters and I want you to read with me. In this sense and in this exercise, we will help your tongue and of course your mouth to be flexible enough to engage into an oral exercise. Now, you can repeat after me. A big black bug bit a big black bear made a big black bear bleed. Next is a little bit tough. Peter Pepper picked a pack of pickled peppers. If Peter Pepper picked a pack of pickled peppers, where is the pack of pickled peppers Peter Pepper picked? Thomas Tutter Tooth took tall to tie ten twigs to two tall trees. Double bubble gum bubbles double, non double bubble gum doesn't bubble double.
And the last one is, a sniffer of stuff is enough for a sniff for the snuff sniffeter. We are done with the vocal elements. Let's proceed to the physical elements. The first one is the physical appearance. Physical appearance does not only refer to the clothing and the grooming of the speaker. It also includes how one appears before speaking and of course, how one approaches to the podium. They say that first impression lasts, so let's stick to it. Be well groomed and be clean in presenting your speech. contest chair was relieved. My title is only three words long. <laughs> but friends, why is this story unbelievable? Next thing is eye contact. This is a very important thing. Why? As it, because it creates connection and of course it makes a good rapport with your audiences if you make good eye contact. The next physical element is the facial expression. Facial expression refers to the movement of your eyes, your brows, and of course your mouth. The thing is, when you animate your face, you best convey the emotion of your speech. The next thing is the posture. Posture refers to how the speaker carries his or her body in front of the audience. A good posture is a very good indication that the speaker is ready. The next thing is gesture. Gestures are movements, usually the hands, sometimes the body, and of course, your head. Now, it creates a certain emotion and a moment of clarity for your speech. The last one is the proxemics. Proxemics refers to your distance from your audiences and to yourself. Now, it's very important because if you want to establish intimacy, you tend to get closer to them. But if you want to build up a wall, so you tend to be further from them. Now, I think that's all for this lesson, which is the vocal and the physical elements included in speech delivery. Later, we're going to try different activities to help you gain confidence in speaking. For your application, let us view a sample of a video coming from one of the greatest Toastmasters. In the end, I want you to do a self-assessment of the video and try to watch out for techniques the speaker used in the video. Danajaya Hediarachi, I see something. I see something. Danajaya Hedirachi. You and I are not very different from this flower. Just like this flower is unique, you are unique. All of us has something special that makes us as beautiful. Do you know what makes you special? Now the answer to that can be a little difficult to find. Because sometimes life has a cruel way of picking out your petals, breaking you in two and throwing you into the trash. And when you're broken, it's very difficult to feel special. Mr. Contest Chair, my fellow flowers, I can remember the first time I broke. I was 17 years old. I had already flunked high school and managed to get myself arrested. Now, I wasn't afraid of the cops. But there was one person I was very afraid of, and that was my mama. <laughs> Raise your hand if you have an emotional mother. Let me see. Put them all together, 
You get mama. I can hear her scream outside the police station. Even the cops were afraid. She came up to me, held the iron bars, looked into my eyes, and I saw a tear coming down her face. Now, I've seen my mama cry before, but mothers cry three types of tears. Tears of joy, tears of sorrow, and tears of shame. And when a son sees a mother cry, tears of shame, that's a life-changing moment. She looked at me and said, son, I want you to be a better man. That night, when I drove home, my dad was waiting for me at home. Now, my dad is a cool dad. Raise your hand if you have a cool dad. Put them all together, you get my dad. <laughs> my dad came up to me and said, son, it's okay. You flunked your exams. You already got arrested. That's fine. You get that from your mother's side. <laughs> I want you to start working immediately. And I said, okay. So my dad took me to meet one of his friends called Sam. Now Sam was an accountant who had an accounting firm and had generously decided to make me his personal assistant. And there he was. He looked like a teddy bear. But this man was special. I looked at him, and he looked at me. And then he said the most amazing thing. He said, son, I see something in you, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> if you decide to work with me, I can help you find that something. And I was like, whoa. That's the first time in my whole life somebody has ever told they see something in me. And I started working for Sam. And every day after work, he used to tell me stories about the world, about history, about culture, about philosophy. And it was much more interesting than what I learned in school. And I discovered I can dream. And I started dreaming, ladies and gentlemen. After one year, I went back into high school, completed my exams, and went into college. After successfully completing college, I found a great girl, but not a job. <laughs> I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. Have you ever had that problem? And when you're lost, it's difficult to feel special. So I went back to my cool dad. And I said, Dad, I feel lost. He said, you are like your mother. <laughs> so my dad introduced me to this strange club that had a strange name with strange people <laughs> talking. <laughs> On the first meeting, they told me to do something called a table topic. <laughs> I aced it. But while I was speaking, I see a strange man seated in the back row, humble, simple, the unfailing quality of kindness in his eyes. As soon as I finished, he walked up to me, looked me dead straight in the eye, and said, son, I see something in you, but I don't know what it is. If you come here twice a month, maybe we can find that something. And ladies and gentlemen, I discovered I could speak, and I love speaking. And that led me to become a teacher. I know what it's like to not have enough money in your bank account. I know what it's like to worry when the bills start coming in. And sometimes, in the middle of the night, I wake up my beautiful wife and I ask her, Honey, why did you marry me? She says, I saw something in you. <laughs> but I still don't know what it is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm a dreamer, I'm a speaker, 
And I learned the unfailing quality of unconditional love from my wife. I was broken. And I've been broken, lost, and broke many times in my life. But the people in my life were able to reach into the trash can and make me whole again. If it was up to me, I would have never been able to do that. And this is why if you have great people in your life, no matter how broke, how lost, or how broken you become, they can piece you back together. Ladies and gentlemen, when I look at you, I see something in you. <laughs> but I don't know what it is. Over you. For our application, I want you to answer a series of questions. Post your answers to our Facebook group. First, what was the speech all about? Second, what were his techniques in speaking? Third, if you are going to do a speech like that, what conventions will you employ to make your presentation better? Fourth, among the elements in speech delivery, what elements were not seen in his speech? Fifth, if you are going to do or give a speech, what message will you share to the world about COVID? I'll give you at least a minute to answer that. For your assessment, I want you to imagine yourself as a disc jockey providing information to the public about COVID. Now, I want you to come up at least five information for the announcement and then practice reading it. After that, film yourself and then upload it to our Facebook group. I'm going to give you the criteria so that you will know how you will be judged. So congratulations, we are done, it's a wrap, and once again, this is Mary Shalva Padillo from the Senior High School Department of President Carlos P. Garcia, Technical Vocational School of Fisheries and Arts, and once again, I'm going to leave you this quote that the greatest gift in the world is the gift of speech, so use your voice, and goodbye everyone!